Welcome back everybody. You're watching the Handyman Business YouTube channel where the topic of discussion is about making money and making more money, like a lot more money than you're used to. First way to start making more money is to stop working for the middle class. I'll go more into depth about that in just a minute. I've been getting a lot of requests from people that want a one-on-one -on -one session, business consulting session with me. My answer is always I don't do one-on-ones. If you'd like to submit a question, you can do that. I'll make a video response about my experience. My experience is with just me. It may not work for you. That's why I put it out in a video format. That's why I always encourage comments so that there is a meaningful discussion around the topic and guys in different locations and different backgrounds can, can figure out what's gonna work for them. Keep that in mind, these are just my experiences. These are not my opinions or my assumptions. This video is all about increasing your prices and leaving the middle class behind. Gotta leave them behind and fend for themselves. They can't afford us anymore. Now there is a middle class trap. I almost went into that middle class trap. There's a lot of things that uh, contribute to it, but one of them is inflation and the wages that the middle class are paid. Uh, they're not keeping up with inflation. Here's an example from my life. When I graduated college, I got hired. My total compensation in dollars was 55,000. I also had benefits. Back then, a single young man got full health coverage. Didn't realize how beneficial that was. I also got disability insurance. Really didn't know how important that was either. I got 401k matching, paid days off, sick days, got a cell phone, some other things like that. If you adjust for inflation, guess how much that is in today's money? It's about $92,000. That same college graduate is not coming out with the same degree into construction management making $92,000. It's probably starting about $70,000, $75,000. Way under what I started out as. That's an example of middle class wages not keeping up with inflation. A lot of the comments that I receive on my main YouTube channel go something like this. I don't know anybody that could pay those prices. Anybody that would pay those prices are crazy. Why would someone pay that? They could just go to YouTube and figure out how to do it. Those are all middle class statements. You want to avoid trying to work for the middle class. Work for the upper class. The internet defines an upper class household as having a total income of $156,000 or more. Where I live, that's on the very low end. That's probably more middle class in my location. So here's some examples of what the upper class spends their money on. None of them clean their own house. They all have housekeepers. They do not mow their own lawns. Nope, no mowing lawns for me, I'm upper class. They don't wash their own dogs. This was uh, something that I thought was kind of interesting. I'm talking about people who have a scheduled company bring a dog washing facility on a trailer to their house every single week to have their dog washed. You see where I'm going with this? They don't work on their own house. They don't paint bedrooms. They don't install TVs. They don't do anything home maintenance or repairs or remodeling or upgrades. That's where you come in. That should be the focus of your customer base. The upper class is growing. So right now, there are more people that can afford to pay you a good dollar figure for your service than ever before in history because the upper class, and the internet defines it as 156,000 household income or more. There's more of those people than there have ever been in history. A lot of you guys are saying, oh, those are just those stingy boomers. And they don't pay. And again, this is location-based. Around me, they're not. They're all millennials and that are making $200,000 a year. With 10 years of experience in certain locations and in certain career paths can be making $100,000 a year. Keep in mind, this is household income. When you couple up, you now have $200,000, no kids. My rental house is a perfect example. It's in a pretty fancy neighborhood or desirable neighborhood. And I've never rented to anybody over the age of 30. And I've never rented to anybody whose household income has been under 190, 180. That's like the lower limit. A lot of them have been well into the mid 200s, not over the age of 30. They never stay there. The max is two years. 
and then they're off to buy their own house. They don't go buy a brand new house. They stay in the city and they buy a 100 plus year old house. What's that house need? It needs a guy like me and a guy like you to keep maintaining it. Another good way to win these customers, keep these customers, is to communicate with them and do business with them on their level. That's why I suggest Jobber. I talked about it in the previous video. If you wanna go watch that segment, uh, I'll put a link that pops out up here to last month's video. I'll also link it down in the description. Jobber is just a business management software. It's web-based and it's also an application base for your phone. All these younger, upper-class customers are used to communicating digitally. They don't even want to have phone calls anymore. They want digital communications. So since the last time I talked about Jobber, I've gone through their free education. That's something that you're going to need to do when you download Jobber, is get educated on it. So the first lesson that I took was all about customizing it for my needs. So when you first download it, you're gonna go through it and you're gonna be like, oh, this is kind of overwhelming. There's so many options. You're gonna get an email from Jobber that says, hey, sign up for a free phone education class, 30 minute class. And I ignored it and I was like, oh, I'll teach myself, I'll teach myself. And then I said, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna do it. And I was so surprised at the experience I had. It was just a 30 minute call, nice lady called me up. We were able to log in together. I did it on desktop. You could also do it on your mobile phone, just on speakerphone. She went through each of the main forms, your estimate, your invoice. Those are the two main ones that you're going to customize just to get started. This is all free. This is all included in the price, which is why I think it's so valuable. Every business is managed by software, not by people anymore. People operate the software, the software manages the business. That's why I think if you're gonna elevate your customer base, you're gonna elevate your, your business, you gotta incorporate technology. It's just real handy to have the whole thing accessible on your phone. So if you're one of the people that downloaded Jobber and you didn't buy it and you played around with it for a week, consider getting that training and testing it out under its full function for at least a month. They have different price points. I suggest the connect level. That's gonna give you up to five users and you get the free training on how to use all those features. That is so important. Can't stress that enough, the free training and how good that free training was. Now for the people who insist that there is no population of upper class customers in your area and you're still focused on remaining in the industry, I would give this a shot first before leaving go do something else. If there's not enough money there to get you out of the middle class trap, go find something else to do. Here's an example from my past. I think it was around 2010, maybe 2011. Back then, we were still in the Great Recession. Certain cities had started to climb out of it. Some plateaued, some were still not doing so good. A lot of dual family incomes, household incomes, were, were still down to one income. Uh, they were able to hold on to their house and they wanted to do some upgrades. I specialized in very low priced pergolas. It, it was really good money. I would spend $250. I know you're all laughing because you can't do that anymore. And uh, lumber prices are starting to come down, but keep in mind, this was a long, long time ago. And I would get pressure treated lumber and pre-build a pergola, like a 10 by 10 pergola, 12 by 12 pergola in my driveway. It would take me about two and a half hours to pre-build a pergola. If you don't know what a pergola is, just Google it. Now, these were pretty basic, but they looked good. They're only four by four pressure treated posts. Then I would take it apart, put it in my truck, drive it to their patio and reassemble it. The feet I would just put into four by four post bases. Just drill right in. I would sell them for $1,500. So I had $250 of material, sold them for $1,500 and had about six hours of labor into it. Now everybody's focused on labor and how much time they have to spend. I'm gonna finish up with the last point that I need to make. If you are not obsessed, you're gonna be stuck in the middle class. That's the only way I got out. I was obsessed with home renovations, the real estate market, remodeling, understanding the customers. I still am obsessed with that market, the real estate market. I'm constantly doing research, constantly reading articles 
on the movement of the industry and the customers, the customer base. They are getting younger and they're getting richer. It's really getting easy to work for them. They have six figure incomes. They're communicating digitally at a keyboard through a Zoom call. That's it. They don't do in person anymore. My tenants for the last four years have all worked from home except for one of them. I had no idea that this would be such a benefit for this rental house. It has a, uh, a specific space that is perfect for a home office. And it's like a gold mine now. In fact, I just had a conversation with Realtor about how I should be finishing out another house of mine. And they said, well, if you have a spot designated as a home office, that's better than that space being designated as a bedroom. That's genius, it's genius. So you guys that uh, say there's no, there's no wealthy people to work for, you're picking that one middle class specialty and you're gonna focus on it, you're gonna figure out how to do it faster than the competition and you're gonna have to increase your volume in order to get out of that middle class trap. You're gonna be doing two pergolas a day. That's a lot of customers. It's a lot of customers to manage. That's why you're gonna need a web-based software and the phone app to manage all these customers, all these estimates, all these invoices, all these communications that are all digital. They're not verbal. They don't talk on the phone anymore. They don't talk in person. A lot of times, man, I'll probably save some of these uh, house husband stories for the live streams. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.